Thanks for joining us tonight. In the last 20 minutes, former Minneapolis police officer Mohammed Noor was seen leaving the courthouse just moments after he wrapped up hours of testimony in his trial. Noor took the stand speaking publicly for the first time about the night he shot and killed Justine Ruzchek Damon, saying he fired to save his partner. Noor also testified about his training, saying he was drilled to understand that action is better than reaction. Lou Raguse was in the courtroom during Noor's testimony. He joins us live with much more. Lou? Guys, there were several major revelations. We learned that Mohammed Noor didn't think that he was shooting at a silhouette like we heard his partner Matthew Harity describe Ruzchek at the window. Noor said he knew he was shooting at a woman, a blonde woman wearing a pink shirt. And he said that he did it because he thought his partner's life was in danger. Now I'll read you some of the major testimony. Uh Nor testify that as soon as the cyclist comes to a stop, I hear a loud bang on the driver's side. As soon as I hear it, my partner yells, oh, Jesus, while he went for his gun. He turned to me with fear in his eyes. His gun appeared caught in his holster. His attorney, Thomas Plunkett, said, how did you know? And Nor said, I saw it, sir. Then Nor says, I saw a female in a pink shirt with blonde hair raise her right arm. I fired one shot and the threat was gone. Now, there was a lot more testimony about the raising of the arm. Nor said that he thought that meant that she might have a weapon, and he thought that if he waited, his partner would die. He said that he shot to stop a threat. Cross-examination by the prosecution will continue tomorrow, but today, Prosecutor Amy Sweezy spent a lot of time uh, on the reference that Nor keeps making, calling Justine Ruzchek a threat. And Amy Sweezy said, a threat, the whole blonde the, the whole blonde hair, pink shirt and all, that's a threat to you. And uh, she made the point there with her question. Now I'm going to bring in uh, defense attorney Marsh Hallberg. Marsh, you're, you're not involved in this case, but you were there in the courtroom today. You heard all the same testimony that we heard. Tell us what you think the defense gained today with Norris testimony and what you think the prosecution gained so far with cross-examination. I think the most powerful thing that the defense did in this case was try to make you feel like you're actually there in the moment in that alley. The uh, attorneys were very good about, they had this normal questioning and when they got to the part just before the shooting, the questioning got faster and faster and the energy got more and more. And they tried to paint this picture of what a frantic decision had to be made and that really that Mr. Knorr was a hero trying to save his fellow officer versus you know, doing something wrong criminally. Okay. And in the, the uh, prosecution and cross-examination so far? Well, so far their tone has been, we're having none of this. We are showing no sympathy to you, sir, and we're going to hit you hard, be very aggressive in our questioning. What do you think uh, the points were made, uh, whether it was a justified shooting or not so far in the testimony? I think it's still up, to, I think we still have to wait for Nor to finish up. Okay. All right. Thank you, sir. Thank you. And so Nor will finish up. They will start a, a little bit earlier tomorrow, and uh, he's expected to finish up testifying tomorrow, and then the defense's use of force expert will come after him. He's sitting in the courtroom listening to this testimony today so that he can customize his testimony to what Nor says on the stand. Back to you. Big right. day. Thank you, Lou.